Hi and welcome to Paranormal Hauntings. We are a bit early tonight to make up for we were, we were a bit late uh, during Amy's. Um, we've got the fantastic Paul on. Oh, thank you. Again with us tonight for mine. <laughs> um, so for anyone that's tuning in that don't know what we are doing tonight, um, I am having a past life regression. <clears throat> Amy had, had hers um when was it last week week before week before I think it was wasn't it mm -hmm. um and it was a very very interesting night um and something some interesting things come through didn't they and they did and yeah. whatnot so Paul do you ju just want to explain again just for any new viewers tuning on um, absolutely exactly what it is yes yeah, so uh I'm a clinical hypnotherapist also do something called neuro linguistic programming uh, and that helps coaches people to feel in more confidence and setting goals it can be done for sports can be done for bad habits etc all sorts of wonderful things but part of the past life regression work that i do uh, so the part, of, part of the uh, hypnotherapy work i do is past life regression so uh, that is putting people into a trance um, which is basically a nice deep relaxed state it's not a zombie type state or anything like that and then whilst they're relaxing their brain will slow down they able to access the unconscious and the idea is and the thought and belief behind it is that we store memories in there and everything we've ever done ever, you know in the past is in there and you can bring back memories from this lifetime but you can also bring back memories from a life you've lived before this one so that's what uh, you'll be seeing tonight. Lovely. I don't know if you just want to give some shout outs to everyone tuning on. Um, uh, after, we'll probably ask a bit few, if anybody's got any questions after, I'm sure Paul won't mind answering um, and telling you where it is that you can find him. If, if it's something that you would like to have done or any other thing that, that Paul does, um, there is a range you. of range of things that you do do um, and he is fantastic at so you can please give it a thumbs up for us and please give it a like we'd really appreciate that tonight I just wanted to ask you um, regarding Amy's last time before we do yes. what happened is, is two people viewing actually had a very similar dream about meeting a man um, after and, and sharing a very intimate moment with with a man, and I didn't know if it was connected with Amy because she sent a picture of of a man. It could be, and and they said that it did look like this man. It was very very strange, <laughs> and I don't know if you've ever had anyone report that before after a session or anything. Um, people sometimes have more information come out in dreams. I've had that quite a few times. Uh, I've had people that have found photographs and go, this might be you know, me or this might be the person I was married to. I've not had it until that time that you're, you're just saying where more than one person has had a dream afterwards and it seems they're all picking up on something. So that's really interesting and really going to be fascinating because I do follow your post as well, but I haven't seen that photo. I don't know if it went up on the, the page at all, but after scroll through if it did go up on the page and try and find that one it did i will I'll send you the link um yeah please do face, facebook's changed so you don't see all, all the posts at the minute unfortunately but yeah i'll send you and it's interesting to see how the comments comments go on it it was uh interesting the day after yeah um, absolutely think, hmm. i think it so, was a great subject yeah yeah so yeah well i think everyone's probably on now they're all coming in familiar names, mm -hmm. I can see. So, yeah. Shall we start? Yeah, let's, let's, let's start. <laughs> a bit, I'm a bit, I, am a, I am a bit nervous, I won't lie. You'll be absolutely fine. <laughs> On the count of three, you go to that corridor now that your subconscious mind has chosen that will take you back to a past life. One, two, three. That corridor of subconscious mind has chosen. Describe this corridor to me. Yes, I, <clears throat> there's 
like six doors down one side and and there's 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 only three on the other side it's quite dark but there's certain lights over certain doors and allow now your subconscious mind to go to the past life that will be best for you to experience right now and is there a door you're most drawn to to experience that past life there is on the left very good just see yourself now walking down down to that door down to that door that will take you back to the life you've lived before this one and just let me know when you're just outside that door i'm here wonderful on next count of three that door open you're looking out of your own eyes feeling with your own feelings in this past life pleased and delighted what you can sense or experience all right now the door opens on count of three one two three door opens now to your past life described in what you can sense and see through that door just huge rocks very good allow yourself to now go through that door into that space into where those huge rocks are the door closes behind you describe these huge rocks and what you're aware of they're just they're, they're huge and they're quite pointy and they're quite dark in color and there's right. three there's there's like three of them but it's all in one rock that's how it how i'm seeing it and so you're aware just be aware now of your legs and arms and let me know how you're dressed now i've got a long white dress on lovely and it's got a gold belt that's nice and now yeah. carry on and it's got long sleeves quite flary very flary at the bottom it's very nice our next count of three the name will come into your mind of what they call you in this life one two three so they call you in this life Bayer. Bayer. that's a nice Fe name Faya 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 am I saying it right yeah that's a nice name and how old are you now, Fair? How old are you in this moment? 22. And now, what you're doing here? What you're doing here now with these rocks? What are you aware of? Why are you here? I think I've come to meet people, but I don't know why here. Okay. Before we find out why and why it's this place, on next count of three, the year will come into your mind of what year it is right now. One, two, three. What year is it? Eight, seven, six. Eight, seven, six. And now, 
where in the world you are at this moment. A light come to you now. Where in the world are you right now? Yeah, I think it's Iceland. Iceland. That's nice. Let's just see from your subconscious mind if you can get more specific place where this is in Iceland. On the count of three. One, two, three. Whereabouts in Iceland are you right now? Is it Falek? Falek? Falek. Falek. Wonderful. And now, staying with this lifetime while you're at your rocks, I'd like to just move forward in time just a little bit to see what the outcome is of meeting these people. Allow that to happen now. And tell me why this place was chosen and what you're doing here right now. We've, we've built on, on it, we've, we've got homes. That's nice. So let's uh, stay. We'd, we'd, uh, we'd, we'd done like a celebration, we'd done like a, a blessing, if you like, on the land. That's nice to do that. And what did you use and what did you do to do this blessing on the land? We danced. Good. We, we worshipped. And I have a stick in my hand. And what's the stick for? It's, I use it as I walk. And... It's wooden, very big. <clears throat> very nice. And describe these other people that are with you now, blessing this area, this land. What do they look like? They don't look like me, but they're my friends and they kind of, I think they look up to me to a degree. They, they tend to come around and surround me. That's nice. When you say they don't look like you, is there they're something not, specific? They're not dressed like me. Okay. How are the others dressed? And they're Their clothes are more dirty and they seem like they they work hard and that's good. Staying with this lifetime, why don't you go to a place where you see these places where you've built these these areas where you live. Allow that to happen now or there now and describe this place you've built for yourselves what's it like there's like round huts and straw roofs and there's fires and we have animals yeah but yeah of animals that are 
that are dead that we want to heat. And what sort of animals are there? Pig. There's over a file. And do you feel that you live with someone in a, with a community of people? in these these huts or do you feel that there's a family what what do you feel what do you feel lives with you right now yeah we're a community that's nice and let's see now if we can get a family name that comes up what we count it through your family name one two three what's your family name Scroll, scroll, scroll. 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 Well done. On the next count of three, we'll go staying with this lifetime to your happiest memory. One, two, three, your happiest memory with in this lifetime. And tell me about that really happy memory that you have. I'm stood around and there's a man and he's, he's, he's got dark hair. And he's very broad and he's smiling at me and he's laughing. And That's nice. And we're just watching everyone happy around. Feels like we're celebrating. And what are you celebrating now? The success. It feels like it's been a success. Is this the community you built or something else? The community just said. Very good. Staying with this lifetime now, and just go back to your earliest memory within this lifetime. That happens now. Your earliest memory. Um, young child. I've still got a white dress on, but I can. A linen dress. And I'm making a, making a kitchen area. So there's a little fire where my mum and dad is. So. That's nice. And now. I want you to tell me on the next count of three your mum and dad's name. Ah, oh, one, two, three. Your mum and dad called. Anika. Anika is my mum. Now lay your father's name. Right, come now.
can't, can't get the same. That's okay. Now just describe your your dad. What'd your dad look like? He's broad. He's got dark hair as well. It's short though. And what does what does he do? He fights. He protects us. Who does uh, who does he protect you from? People that come over. And tell me about those people. So people come over. They want to take what we have. Sorry to hear that. Not very nice. But it don't have to happen often. He's, um, he's very strong. That's very I good. Feel, feel very safe. And what sort of weapons does he use? And what does he use to protect himself also? What, what does he use? He actually looks like he's got an armour of some sort on him. He's got like a red, like a, he's actually got like a wooden stake. He carries around. Very good. And now we'll just go to a point in this lifetime at this age now and we'll do it later on as well we're able to look at yourself in reflection so you can see how you look allow that time staying with this lifetime at this young age to happen now time when you are looking at yourself in some sort of reflection Describe what you look like. I have long red hair, open hair. Wonderful. It's wavy. It's very good. And now let's talk about your mum, what she spends her days doing and how she looks. Allow a time when you're with her to happen now. Describe your mum. She's blonde. She's also dressed in white. She's got one of the white dresses on. She Sounds lovely. Hard. And she looks after you very well. And everyone else. And where are you living at this very moment in time? Let to come to your, to your mind, what you're aware of, where you're living. We're, we're in a hope. But it's very big. That's different areas. But at the minute we're, we're we're towards the door. In what is what we'd use as a kitchen. It's very nice. You told me about your mum and dad. Are you aware of any 
other family members in the house at this time? It's just me. Okay. We we'll just try one more time to see if we can get your dad's name, but if you don't, don't worry. Just then move on to another time. Just want to see if your dad's name comes up on the count of three in this lifetime. One, two, three, or dad's name. Just allow that to come to you. Is when? When? Very good. And now let's move further forward in time. Further forward, you've been at the age of 15. Allow that to happen now, your 15th year. Staying with this lifetime. And tell me about that, please. It's still on the land. Driven about going, building bigger, having more people in. That's nice. I help. I help my mom. And how do you help your mum? What do you do? We cook. We, we cook for the others. Sounds nice. And now just allow a time when you're cooking with your mum. Come in to your mind now. A time when you're cooking with your mum. And those memories when you're cooking with your mum. And what are you cooking? Bread. Very nice. And at this time now, staying with this lifetime, I just want you to let me know if there's a religion or a god or gods that you, you worship. Allow that memory, if you did, to come into your mind now. And let me know. We, we worship nature and we worship the gods above. There's more than one. very good. It is several. Is there one you worship more than the other? Any the others? Each, each God each we worship for different things but equally is important. Now, staying with this lifetime, we'll move to the time when you're very first building that, that new community. So you can go to that just before you started creating that space together. I'll allow that memory to come to you now and tell me what you see. And we're like on the edge of a cliff and we can, can see the sea to the right and it goes down to the left. We're quite high up and there's It's like a statue towards the end of the, of the cliff, like a formation. Hey. 
Excellent. That's where, that's where we spend most nights. That's where. Where we meet. And when you meet, what do you do? We worship. That's good. And now, because you look out to sea, do you feel that the food comes from the land, or do you feel that you also get food from the sea as well? Oh. Right. <laughs> okay. It's, it is very rocky, though. The land. We were trying our best. What sort of vessels do the people go out on? Well, describe one of those vessels, how they look when they do go out. They're wooden. And the front curves round and it is as a type of creature and then the front of it, like it, it looks a bit like a dragon face but not quite, it's like a, a creature and then There's red, then there's, there's, there's red and there's white. And they're in lines. It's like it's been put on. Excellent. And you said earlier when you were building this space, there's a statue. Describe mm. this statue to me, please. It's like got a, a carving of a face within the rock. I think it's is... like a sense of God. Sense it's God. Just now on the count of three, if it is a face of a god, allow that god to, and that memory of who that carving is to come to your mind. On the count of three, one, two, three. Which, which carving, which god is that a carving of? There's nothing. Not coming through. Don't worry, it may come later. Now, staying with this lifetime, let's move further forward to you now being at the age of 30. Allow that to happen now, you're at the age of 30. And tell me what you're doing now in your 30th year, in this lifetime. I've moved further inland. What was the decision for doing that? To support others inland. I needed some support. What was happening for you to need more support? They were struggling. They were struggling to to farm and struggling to eat and they needed some they needed some help. But it's looking greener 
It is looking green. And... That's good. And how did you find these other people? They're not my own people. They're not how, my own people. How does it feel being with these other people? Not like home. Sorry to hear that. And at this age now of 30, are you mad or do you have a, a life partner? Allow that memory to come from your subconscious mind. I have a partner. He's the dark yes. man, dark haired man that I've seen. Wonderful. Yes. And now from your subconscious mind, the memory of this lifetime, allow his name to come from your subconscious. What's his name? Alec. Alec. Really nice. He's got dark eyes. Lovely. Do you feel you have any children? We have a boy. It's very nice. How old is this boy now? Three. Lovely. And now, be able to tell me what this little boy, your, your child's name, what's his name? Alec too. We we we've named him after his dad. That's lovely. And what does Alec, boy's father, your partner, and man you're with, what does he do? What's he do for, with his days? He's, he's in brown armour. He, he fights as well. He protects us. He goes and looks for new land. Sounds good. You're being protected. Staying with this lifetime We'll move further forward now again. Further forward to being at the age of 35. Allow your memory of this time to come to your mind now, staying with this lifetime. And tell me about your 35th year. We're going to travel. Why are you going to travel? To find new land. Is this travelling overland or over sea? Over sea. And what made you decide to do this? To expand. To grow our communities. Very good. And just allow yourself to move a little bit further forward in time. A little bit further forward in time. Staying with this lifetime and let me know what's happening now. What's happening now? We're on, we're on the boat. Me, Eric, and our son, and there's others. It's very nice. How does it feel to be on this 
this boat and this this voyage at the moment. It's scary. I can imagine. And how's Alec and your son doing? How are they feeling, do you think? Brave. My son takes after my apartment. Very nice. Allow yourself to move one year further forward ahead from where you are now. One year further forward ahead. And tell me where you are and what you see. There's nothing. Nothing. No. Staying with this lifetime, I want you to go to your very last day within this lifetime. Very last day. Allow it to happen now. Let me know where you are and what you see. We're in a storm. Sorry to hear that. Did you reach any land at all on this this voyage? No, it's, been, it's not been long. It was a really bad storm. Sorry to hear that. And we're all very scared, but the partner is. is being strong. I'm glad he's being strong for you. We now move further forward to your very last 10 minutes in this lifetime. That happens now. Your very last 10 minutes. Let me know what you're aware of in your very last 10 minutes. The uh, boats are in. And okay. it's coming up. So, you know, we'll just go back from here just one hour, one hour back from where you are now. One, two, three. One hour further back. And just as you breathe there now, I'd like you to be aware that you'll experience only what emotions you wish to experience within this time now. And with that, are you happy to move further forward? Say yeah. yes or no. You say that again, please. Yeah. You're happy to move forward. Okay. Yeah. Just being aware that you'll only experience what emotions you're happy to experience in this in this time. It'll be your very last 10 seconds and this will be like a videotape that could be fast forward all way round. You only take on what you are happy to take on in the experience. Go to your very last 10 seconds now. Last 10 seconds. What are you aware of and what do you see? What coming in the boat? We we'll yeah. move. Carry on. My son's gone. Sorry to hear that. We'll give you some healing for this later. Just now, five, four, three, two, one, and zero. Just passed over now. And what are you aware of? I'm in a room. My head hurts. There's a pressure on my head. Do you know why you feel that pressure? Mm -mm. Describe this room to me and where you feel you are right now. It's white and there's a window. Just 
So allow yourself to move further forward in time if there is such a time in this space where you are now. So allow yourself to move further forward now. You know what you see now. Trust all settled. The pressure's gone. That's good. My family's there. They're with me. That's good. They're with you right now. Allow you to enjoy some moments with your family now. So you can feel being good, being reunited with them. If I can get you to look over your life, this life you just experienced, what message are you get in from your higher self? A message you'll get in. Never give up, no matter what. I like to take that forward with you. I think that's a message so many can take forward with them. Would you like to receive some healing from this past life experience? Yes. On the next count of three, I want you to go to a very beautiful healing place of your choosing. Your subconscious mind chooses for you to do all its healing work. Be inside or outside. Okay. Very healing place. And tell me about that. Allow yourself to go there now and what do you see? I'm in the woods. It's nice. In the woodlands. Really experience of being in that woodlands and the nature and grounding yourself there. And as you relax to my voice, you feel happier. I like you now to be aware of a healing light surrounding you. This healing light can take whatever shape it wishes to take. And it's withdrawing any negative from this experience you've just had but keeps all the positive in there from this past life you've just experienced connection with your partner and your son and the friendship and the people you enjoy interacting with that all stays within you just allow this healing light to remove now any negative and whilst that's happening I like your subconscious mind now to be aware of a spiritual physician and they can take what ever form is most helpful to you and any injuries and trauma that happened from the experience of being on this ship gets soothed. If there's any injuries to the head, which it seemed like that happened, just experience this person putting their healing hands on your head and healing that trauma. If there were any broken bones in that experience, that healing pharmacist can 
and doctor can straighten them and put them in spiritual splints and that healing happens almost instantaneously to the bones any cuts and bruises just now experience healing balm being put on that area soothing you and being aware of that healing light that was taking out all the negative I need to thank that healing light and experience it going away and there is a saying that nature abhors a vacuum and you can be aware of another healing light now surrounding you and that healing light is giving you healing energy and your extra happiness and reminding you about all the positive times in all your lives that you've had all this healing work gets stronger inside you aware of it getting stronger now as you move to the first level of healing and then again even stronger to level two and then final level of level three strongest most wonderful healing being given to you now and as you're experiencing this wonderful healing you can be aware of healing that life experience you've had and also being aware of your lifetime that you're living now in this year of 2021 and in that lifetime there's been so many times when you've made people so very happy I'd like you to think about the happiness you're giving to people on your live streams the help and friendship that you give to people and now allow every positive thought you've ever had about yourself to just run through your whole body very good long after this hypnosis session is finished the healing work will be carrying deep within inside you just before I bring you out of this nice deep relaxation I'd like to think of a time in your lifetime now that just makes you smile or makes you laugh just think about that time now and how joyous life can be when we live it to the full I'd like you to be aware now on the count of three of going back to that corridor where you started from and if you feel you need any extra healing after this session I will certainly give it to you but now you just go back to that corridor you start from to check all doors are closed for now but can be reopened whenever you like one two three we're back in that corridor now and doors to those lives are closed but can be reopened and just let me know that you're there in that corridor I mean wonderful in a moment I'm going to count up from one to three on three and only three your eyes will be open you'll be refreshed alert calm and confident remembering only the positive from this life experience 
but you can remember the session with crystal clear clarity. On three and three as well, I'd like us, you to give us a nice smile just to let us all know that you're okay and doing well. All right now, one, becoming aware of your hands resting comfortably. Two, small movements in your body, signaling that it will be soon time to waken on three eyes open, alert, refreshed. I'm ready for the rest of the evening. Thank you. <laughs> and Sorry. if you feel, no, don't apologize at all. Um, you know, what you felt was very, very um, oh. emotional. So uh, I've never sobbed will... like that for a long time. I sobbed and my heart, literally my heart was pumping out my chest. After this session is finished, just want you to check in with me as well to make sure you're fully OK. And if there's any extras you, you want me to do, I certainly will do that because uh, I always like to make sure that everybody is fully healed from the session. You're, you're getting lots of hearts and lots of love anyway. Oh, thank you, guys. It was just it and it just come on like a wave it was like a panic it just i was i was all right we we was we was a bit scared of what was to come and then when you went back to, i think you said to the 10 minutes was it mm. oh the sheer panic and it just it just like completely hit me like a brick wall like <laughs> honestly yeah, I, I mean, that's why I just double checked with you. I'm happy to go through your final minutes because I could tell that it was quite strong emotions for you in those final 10 minutes. But you were very brave to experience that. And by doing that, it, I do find it does release stuff mm. for people. You did ever yeah. so well. Well done. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I don't know if Amy's coming back on. Yeah, because you feel like... Uh, you might just need to have a moment or two I to feel, process that. Yeah. So, uh, yeah. It was a very You're good right. progression. Yeah, I didn't expect that in the slightest. I never cry. <laughs> I hardly ever cry. If anybody knows me, yeah, it's, it's rare. <laughs> I, I didn't come on for a long time because I was like trying to sort myself out because I would, you know, even everybody in the chat was like right there with you. Yeah, it was a, it was a tough one, that one. Mm. But everybody's been pouring in all the support. Thank you. For, for you and for Paul. Thank um, you, Paul. Oh, you're very welcome. The, there was some Nate, some Nate, the names just wasn't coming to me that, and I said, <laughs> when the, the names came quite clearly to me, but I don't know if it's because there were foreign names that I might, was struggling to, mm. to come through a little bit, and I did feel like I may have spoken a different language, but I was trying to... Interpret what you were hearing. Yeah, it, and it just kind of hit a brick wall at times. I don't know if that's common, but it, you know, yeah, like I... when you, when you asked me who did I worship, and I wanted to say, but it, it kind of mm. didn't form. I knew, but it didn't form out in words. Yeah, um, that's, it, it happens like that sometimes. I tend to find it, it's very rare you get anybody that actually starts saying talking in. A oh God, it's just come off. Somebody that starts talking in a different language, that's very rare that that happens. Uh, if they did, I, I wouldn't have a clue what they were saying anyway. Um, but, uh, most people tend to find that they, they hear the words and it would be like if I put on a French film, you know, and because mm. I'm really bad at languages, but sort of saying, what are they saying? Can you, you know, can you sort of say what they said? They're not like interpreted to English, but what did they say? And you're like, try, well, it sounds a bit like that. And I find that's what it's often like with people mm. that, um, you know, uh, go to a different, a different land in their past life. Mm. Yeah. It was quite, it was, it was, 
amazing what you were saying, really, because I think James pointed out that it, 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 he said, I don't think Sean knows much about the Vikings. And you were getting like little, you know, like the little bits of the culture that was, that I believe is quite accurate, you know. Well, uh, well I've watched the Viking series, but <laughs> in the mm-hmm. terms of like, in the terms of like names and things and, and how it it looked, <laughs> it, it was it was very different, but I felt like, <sighs> We'd we'd I'd gone there to build up on land. I do feel like that. Um, and we took people with us, and they, they kind of used me as a support. They came to me for advice on what they needed to do, and I think I'd got them skills off my mother and my thought father, and 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 passed them through, passed them on for the community. Yeah, um, I thought you were going to be like. A... Because you were dressed, you were dressed in white, and you were dressed differently to everybody else. So I thought you were going to be like a a chieftain's daughter, or mm. someone like that. Somebody who, because they were looked up to in the community, mm. and they did all do things together. You know, it wasn't like well, it was a, a hierarchy as such, but it was they looked after each other on their own. Mm. Um, so mm. I think we're going to say that you're a chieftain's daughter, especially with the gold, um, the gold around the dress. Mm-hmm. Uh, but but that that I wouldn't have known that that I wouldn't have known at all, no. at all. No. But yeah, I, it it was it was really good. It's one that when you watch it back, you'll be like, God, you know. Mm. It was definitely good. Does anybody have any questions for Charlene or Paul about what she's just gone through? Um, or if they've got any questions in general. Yeah. Yeah. I'm just going to have a drink. <clears throat> have you got tissues? I don't know if I've got mascara. I've got mascara down It was raining a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Hi guys. Helen's put it would be interesting to get your DNA done, Charlie. And I don't but, know well, the, well, the thing is, <laughs> the the thing is, is is that I'd always said to Ed, my husband, that I reckon he was Viking. Um, and he said, "Do you think?" And I said, "Yeah, I think you originate from Scotland and and, and Viking." Um, and he, I bought him a DNA test for Christmas. And he did it, and he, he got his results back the other week. I was telling you, wasn't I, Amy? And mm-hmm. he actually does originate from Scotland. I and mean, we we both feel a connection to Scotland anyway. Um, and I, I do have family. Um, that my ancestors have lived in Scotland. I do know that much. But the funny thing was, is is I, we, we went to um, the Isle of Lewis um, when we could last year. And we, we went to a stone circle and I said I was very apprehensive about me going there and I felt it was home to a degree. It did feel like home. And um, I, th- I thought I'd had connections there. But when he got his DNA test back, <laughs> it, it, his ancestors was from Scotland, gone back, go over from the to the Isle of Lewis to Iceland over from Norway so it, it does it did flow like that and we were saying weren't we Amy I wonder if I did my DNA test if it took the same kind of pattern and we somehow have have, have met before in some way yeah followed each other in, in each life well found each other in each mm. life I think everybody wants you to do a DNA test now. yeah <laughs> Um, I haven't got no issues around water, but I do have um I'm I can be claustrophobic and I and I can I do panic about my breathing and drowning would probably be the worst kind of death I think you know that's kind of always been my way of thinking um I mean, anyway, when you... it's not nice but. I don't know, I just somehow feel drowned in would, would be one of the one of the worst things to experience, I think. Um 
I'm asking. I feel tired and drained, but um, all right. All right. It is an emotional experience. I didn't expect it to be that emotional. I really didn't. At all. It sounded like you might have had some sort of head trauma as well, because after you passed, you said you had a pain in the it head. Was so like, it was like some wood all sent hit you. It was like someone just got my head and was squeezing it and crushing it. That's how if, it felt. If you did hmm. drown, it may be the water pressure. If you were trapped in wood mm. or whatever, you know, you, when, as you go obviously further down, there's more pressure. So that could be water pressure. Mm. Maybe. Uh, but Helen says, uh, when Charlene described the boat, did she see a Viking galleon? It was. That was on the edge of the It curved round. And it was like, it looked like a dragon, but it wasn't a dragon. The only way I could explain it was that it, it looked similar to a dragon, but it wasn't. But there was definitely some kind of like creature with like um, uh, pleats on it on its skin, but carved. It was carved. Um, what well, that was uh, the serpent. I can't remember what they call it, but they believed that a serpent was the sea or or it held in the sea do you know what i mean like our, our, yeah. our earth is round they believe that this serpent held it all together and was able to that's why it's on the boats because it's like a water you know a water serpent i forgot what they called it i've, I've probably described that so badly and i do apologize for any viking no no no, no 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 it was good <laughs> <laughs> they did they believe they they believe that um I believe it's a god, but that's what that that's why they carved it on all the ships. Mm. Mm. Uh but yeah, that's you see the uh, thing is is that I do know Viking gods. I I do know certain Viking gods, so you know but they wasn't really coming to, when like when I said when you said what what gods do you worship? It felt like I it was being protected. Like they didn't a want you bit. to that it was yeah, there was a protection there and it just kind of hit a brick wall. And you know, if it some some people may say like this kind of thing is just imagination and stuff, but if that were I would have just reeled off a god that I knew. Do you know what I mean? So it it did feel like it. So I was having to protect what we was worshiping, if you like, to a degree. It does make sense. So Willie says, Paul, um, would lives be geographically linked, Paul? So a ship down near Scotland could bring a next, uh, a next life nearby. What do you think, lifetime I... to lifetime geographic, Paul? So what I think, hopefully I'm getting this right, so that say you were going to Scotland and you were shipwrecked near Scotland next life, you'd be having a Scottish life. Um, I have I have done some people which have several lives. Um, it's quite interesting that what people come up with as they experience going through into the next life. And it seems to be reasonably uh, consistent, consistent, I'd say about 78%. I haven't knocked it down but I don't sort of say too much because it's always interesting to see when it does come up again but I tend to find it's it's all over the place you know <laughs> it, it it could it, it could be like America next time round, or you could be um uh I don't know the North Pole or, or uh, South Pole sorry uh, you know it, it could be all sort all over the place so um yeah it doesn't seem to uh to really have that it's an interesting thing I mean I, I'll I will looking but it, it doesn't seem to be like that i find um I've done. Amy, uh, amy says what was the red and the white on the boat was it the sails or was it the wood itself on the wood it was painted across there was a, a red strip and then there was a white strip on the wood of of, of the boat that led up to to the, the that creature on the on, on the edge of the boat all the way down. 
Yeah, so uh, Vonnie's put, dragons and serpents were on Viking ships and long ships because the sailors could not read, so it identified their ships. Hmm. Um, yeah, I wouldn't have known that either. Um, so, yes, uh, it, it, it does work. I mean, I have mp3s and these cds that i sell i'll go get them on amazon and ebay at some point but that's a vision it's very similar to what i did today except you won't be talking back it'll be um that you'll just sort of i ask you to remember so it'd be like where are you you now and you sort of get where you are at that particular age. And I give suggestions at the end that you remember it with full clarity so you can come back from, from that. But yeah, um, yeah, it, it works for most people, the whole process. There are one or two people that do struggle with it. Um, that's just the way things are. But I, I also give people an alternative disc to listen to, not, not this one, but a different one. And then they get used to my voice, used to going to hypnosis, and I rebook them again in about three weeks' time when they start getting some stuff from it. Because it's a new process for people. And I think some people as well think they're going to be transported back in time, which is not like that. You're all like reviewing life memories and things at no point. At least nobody's actually said, I really thought I was back in the past or anything like that. You know, you're always aware that I'm talking to you and, and what's happening. Mm. So I hope that I hope that answers your question, Claire. Um, OK. Um, Susan Forrester says, is everyone able to be regressed? I don't think it would work on me. Well, the subconscious mind uh, only knows one word and that's yes. So if you're saying I don't think it will work, it probably won't. Uh, like Henry Ford, it, whether you think you can or whether you think you can't, either way, you're probably right. It, it works very much in a similar way. But then again, I have had people thought, I don't think it's going to work, and it has actually worked. I was about 99% of the time people get regression. There are um, one or two people that don't get them, and uh, I do all I can to get a regression experience with them. So I don't just go, well, that didn't work. I'll never see you again. I, I work with them so they, they get something. But, you know, it could be that they haven't had a past life before. But also a lot of times people are kind of a bit concerned and a bit fearful what happens, even though it's basically deep relaxation that you go into and your brainwaves are slowing down. I think the Avengers have a lot to answer for, as much as I absolutely love the Avengers. But, you know, where somebody gets a phone call, they're, like, given a code word, like, coffee and then they let go off like a zombie and, and assassinate somebody it's, it's not like that hypnosis at all it's a very pleasant pleasant experience um but you know sometimes i do group past life aggressions on certain channels where just it's not a one-to-one -one like this but everybody gets involved and everybody shares their experience afterwards so that might be another one that i'll do it do at some point susan in the future um sharon Ains ainsley says how can we purchase paul your, your cd uh thank you sharon um if you message me uh through facebook and i will get it sorted on amazon soon it's just trying to work out how i actually do it uh so if anybody knows how to do that i, I would i would value your your advice uh, but if you contact me via facebook either on either my, either my business pages so past life regression, Paul Gallagher past life regressions or Paul Gallagher NLP and hypnotherapy or even my personal one, I'll get back to you and I'll either um, through backs, I can get that sorted and in, in the post to you. It, it will be, it, they're five pounds each, but it will be six pounds uh, by the time I have to put the post and packaging on to, to get to the person. Uh, but I also have MP3s available as well, which just get emailed across and they're, they're three pounds. So if you contact me, or another way is Paul at paulgoddardnlp.co.uk, uh, I can, um, you know, respond to emails as well. Thank you. Uh, Bonnie Hunter says, so Charlie mentioned protection um, with the figurehead. A quote says they were symbolisms of spiritual spiritualism and protection. Hmm. I wouldn't uh, know that either, really. No. 
Helen Stills, I think you need to be open minded for it to be successful. Although many years ago I went into hypnosis show and my friend was a total skeptic, finished up on stage, and our whole onion being told it was an apple. Oh. Yeah, I've seen that before. They give them an onion on stage and they say that it'll be a really delicious apple, one of the best ones you ever taste. It tastes so sweet and you have somebody who's jumping into a, 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 an onion, uh, really enjoying themselves eating this onion <laughs> on stage. But I, I don't do that to people. And I did do a stage hypnosis course because people always ask me questions about it. Um, and it was fun at the time. It, it was really fun. Uh, but it was something I never really wanted to do as a as a career. But, you know, it was it was great. And the, the teacher was, was amazing. Well, that's good. Um, Shall if you Google dragon ships, there are pictures of creatures. You might recognise the one you saw. Mm. Yeah, I will do. Oh, she meant A an apple instead of R an apple. I thought it meant A. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, but, yeah, that's all the questions so far. Um, okay. what was brilliant, Charlene and Paul. Well I want to say thank you thank to you. Paul. Oh, you're welcome. Thank you, Charlene, for being such I'm a. I, I have never, ex no, would have never ex expected that ever, um, at all, at all. Um, and you, I did feel quite protected that you were there, and that the feelings were going to go off at some point. Yeah. And then as soon as you kind of took me back into the healing room, the palpitations did stop, the, you Good. know, and and, and the, the overcomeness of it all, which it kind of like, it really lifted. Um, it's still a bit juttery, but it just like lifted just, just like that, which mm. was the... Uh... Yeah. Well, I was certainly checking with you after to make sure you're you're fully okay. Um, so Willie says, Paul, thinking of Charlene's light colouring, does this carry through from past lives? People think it's only ancestry. So would she be like blonde, hair, blue eyed, and and very fair? Uh, uh, I, I mean, people have gone into all lives, male and females, different races. So it doesn't seem to hold true that. However. There are certain people that are born and have incredibly strong memories of uh, a, a life they've had before. This one. And these are the ones which aren't just children's spontaneous lives, but they kind of have memories which go much later on. And they have had some people that have ha had photographs done of them and they've run it through a program that the FBI have. And they find that they have a similar bone structure that sometimes it does actually come up as being the same person. Um, but during these regressions, and even the children with spontaneous past lives, you know, I've had, I've had people that, you know, been in Africa, um, I've had sort of people of Indian, you know, it, 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 it's just that there's, there's no, um, that you come back the same looking type or anything like that. Mm. People seem quite concerned. You're still looking quite emotional and you are, you've got your voice. is very shaky. Yeah. Uh, I, I I just want to grab a coffee. <laughs> <laughs> well, I, I, I was saying, and I just like to make sure that everybody realizes that I just don't, when I've got a client, I just, I don't ever just go, well, that's it. Off you go. Then I, when I book people in, I make sure that there's at least a couple of hours after each client so that if it runs over or if I need to do extra work of anybody, I've got that time rather than I must go now. <laughs> Yeah. So, yeah, yeah, afterwards, I make sure you're fully okay. Promise. It, 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 phenomenal, really. I, I felt, on, but on mine, I felt as though uh, you were a support. It, even before I did the regression, you were you were there. Have you got any questions? Is there anything, you, you know, so you were, you were brilliant. You you're went, welcome. You, you go above and beyond. Oh, in what thank you, you Amy. Oh, that is true. <laughs> Thank you. <Yes. laughs> yeah. No, you're br you're absolutely brilliant. Um, That's nice to hear. Thank you. And you deserve the credit. You really do. Um, That's nice to hear. Thank you. Irene says you so deserve a coffee, Charles. You are wonderful. <laughs> um, Ron says I know <laughs> Paul really gave you aftercare. Yeah, you are in good hands. Um. 
so I think what we'll do is we'll leave it there so you can both go and grab a coffee and take a breather Mm. Uh, because it was an emotional one I I, I, I don't ever cry I don't ever cry I feel a bit embarrassed that I've done that (laughs) no it was it was it was I, like, I don't cry. It was it was good. It was gut wrenching at time. You know, at times. It, it it may be really good because if you've held that in for so long, it's it's mm. good. Even at a subconscious level, it's good to release. Definitely. Mm. Yeah, I definitely feel like a weight's been lifted in in a strange way. I just need to process, like, <laughs> mm. our, our emotion just... Whoosh, yes, not, exactly. Norm- normally, I, I can bottle my... In this life, I'll bottle my emotions up, don't I, Amy? Yes, you, you know, do. Like, like, pressing them down, pressing them down, pressing them down, and then the, the, open a lid and then whoosh, it'll all come out. That's that's how I am. But that was just like... Whoosh, <laughs> mm. <laughs> yeah. was, I couldn't control that at all. At all. No, it, it needs to come out. Obviously, it's like it's like uh, subconscious mind therapy, isn't it? Mm, really? Yeah, mm. that's yeah. what it is. But, but I do feel like something has been released. I do feel. Yeah, that's good. Wait, been off. Right, so um, we'll say goodbye to everybody. So everyone can go and have a breather and uh, decompress. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> and um yeah we'll just want be to back live back live tomorrow won't we amy yeah we're rando norton tomorrow yeah so, i think i'll share paul's page if you i think you've said whereabouts if you just want to plug yourself again paul where they can find you yes thank you um so on facebook I'm most active on YouTube, but I, I'll try and be more active on Facebook uh, coming up. But um, so if you for Facebook, if you put in past Paul Guller, past life regressions, uh, you'll come across me. Uh, I've also got a few interests in the personal development side of things. Like I've got Paul Gollard NLP and hypnotherapy. So that's more about the classic NLP, the classic uh, hypnotherapy on uh, YouTube. You'll come across me as past life regressions with Paul Goddard um that one i've uploaded videos some of the regressions i've done with people on facebook and some new ones um try and do some interviews and stuff on it coming up soon and again if you're interested in personal development i've got paul Gullard nlp and hypnotherapy on youtube so if you're really interested in seeing more past life regressions i've done if you go to um past life regressions with paul Gullard on youtube you'll come across my happy smiling face. I'm looking very relaxed because I was sitting in the coffee shop when that photograph was taken of me. So that's why I'm <laughs> chilling like that. <laughs> okay. So thank All you. All right then, guys. So thank you, everyone who's tuned on. We shall see you tomorrow night. Um, then our night. And we'll see you tomorrow. Bye, everyone. Bye. Bye.